Hello, this is Dr. Magnuson, and I am going to teach you about the four great inventions of the Tang and Song Dynasty. The four inventions are paper, woodblock printing, gunpowder, and the compass. If we didn't have these inventions in our lives, life would be different for us. And also, all of these major inventions have evolved over time, being turned into new things. Now it's time to go through with our lesson and talk about all of these major inventions. First, let's talk about paper. Did you know that before paper was invented, dried animal skins and expensive silk were used to write on? Well, that's true. But everything changed when paper was invented in China in the year 105. To make paper, you could have bamboo, tree bark, or bits of cloth. They could be mixed into water, pounded thin, and then dried flat, thus making paper. The invention of paper was beneficial or important, as most people say, because wood and cloth fibers were easier to find and they were a lot cheaper than animal skins and expensive silk. Also, because of paper, more people were able to read since reading material was inexpensive. In most people's perspective, paper was used to write on. Well, yeah, you, everyone knows that. But also, now they have different uses, like origami or paper crafts or anything else that people could think of. Everyone knows about the concept of printing, but no one really knows how it exactly started. Which brings us to our topic of woodblock printing. But before the invention of printing, everything written was written by hand. But knowing that it was very slow, considering you had to hand write everything, it was really expensive considering how long the person must have taken to write all that. But then during the 400s, that was when the Chinese invented woodblock printing. Characters, which is kind of like thoughts or ideas in Chinese, were carved out to make a woodblock printing plate. The characters would be raised and ink would be put over it. And then if you put it over a paper, it would kind of copy or print the characters onto the paper. Because of woodblock printing, more people were able to read and obtain new information from books because they were cheap and easier to find. At the time, this invention was very important considering how people would save time by just printing instead of handwriting. Also because of woodblock printing, books were easier to make rather than just sitting there and handwriting everything. Making books cheap as well. You'd think that gunpowder would be originally used for guns, obviously. But actually, the Chinese initially used the expo this explosive powder for fireworks. To make gunpowder, you would have to mix sulfur, charcoal, and potassium nitrate together. But later, the Chinese used gunpowder as a weapon in their so-called fire arrows. That was when gunpowder was actually used for guns, when gunpowder and the gun were made in Europe 500 years later, in the year 1325. This explosive gunpowder pretty much revolutionized warfare. Now it's time to talk about our last but not least topic, the compass. It all started in the 4th century when the Chinese discovered that lodestone had magnetic properties. <clears throat> Another thing is that a piece of lodestone would naturally align itself along a north and south axis. The first compass was made by having a, a spoon made of lodestone in the center of a bronze plate. This was important at the time because without a compass it is almost impossible to travel in an open ocean or an unknown area. If you usually did not know which direction you were going you could probably most likely get lost without a compass. Compasses were mainly used because the lodestone in the middle would point to north and south so you knew which way you were going so that way you wouldn't get lost in unknown areas. Well this is all the time I have. Thank you for joining me in my lesson of the major inventions in the Tang and Song dynasties. Have a good um, uh, day, evening. I don't know. The device has
Did the voice test me not in mind? Did the voice test me not in mind?